Hey guys, Final Master Link here, and where we last left off, I got to the end of this dungeon, and I'm about to face the Sanctuary boss. And I'm just kidding, Omines can absorb the power of the dungeon. Now, I missed a present over there that I caught when I watched my uh, previous video. I'm gonna get that real quick before I leave. Before I leave. And I just came back from uh, my first day of school. And if you remember from my love video that I made, which was kind of different, it got a few more views than um, my, my, my walkthrough has, or my let's play. So I was kind of ex I was kind of impressed. I have too much stuff, but I don't really want to get rid of. Oh wait, I can eat that cookie. There. I think I can sell that cheap bracelet somewhere. And as expected, school was pretty boring. I don't really want to talk about it. It was just it just kept on dragging on all day. It was worse than I expected. And I bet a bunch of other people that might have had school maybe on Friday they started or they're going to start like in a couple days or even tomorrow. Good luck dealing with it cuz it's going to take forever. Do I have any food? Oh, fudge, I don't. That's not good. I might have to run away from this one. I'm I'm kinda too weak for it. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run away. Okay. Okay, if you go outside the cave, the bubble monkey will actually just pretty much diss you and go out with some girl. Monkey that he met. Don't they look like a nice couple of monkeys? Weird. Oh yeah, this is Stonehenge, by the way. I believe it's in, um, Rome, I think. I, I'm, I'm not sure where it is. I've never seen it before. Oh, I did not see that coming. I didn't know you could get a picture here. And of course the fuzzy pickles, and then he takes your picture. Huh. There's nothing down there but just, uh, there's a iron eraser blocking your way, which is weird. It makes a little less sense than the uh, giant pencil because pencils, like, you know, write stuff and the eraser that we got erases things, so, yeah. I mean, how can a pencil, like, does it, like, draw away the eraser or something? Because that, I, I'm guessing that's what you have to use on it. I don't know. It's weird. Now, if you go to the lab and talk to this guy, who's actually your father... And he, he he says that you haven't seen it. Uh, he hasn't seen you in like ten years. And he'll ask you if you want a donut, which. Oh. I guess he was kidding about the donut thing. Yes, I've already checked out Stonehenge. And you tell him that you have to go rescue Paula and Ness. You need to play the hero right now is pretty cool. And I'll talk to you about the Skyrunner, how it can get you where Paula and Ness are uh, trapped. But if you go upstairs first, there's this present here. And uh, I need to get rid of something. Um, I guess I'll drop the cheap bracelet. Probably won't sell for that much anyway. And there's a broken pipe inside. That's something that uh, Jeff can fix later on in the game. 
I, I, don't, I don't know what he uh, turns it into, though. Oh, yeah. There's a little get glitch if you talk to him. You're supposed to go in that little pot over there. But if you go upstairs first, you'll have to talk to him again once you come downstairs. See, I just walk into the little UFO thing and just blast off. Well, until he tells you... What happened? It's not moving. Hey, why don't you try pressing the button on the controller? Yeah, that's kind of funny. He, he, he just broke the fourth wall. And he just... I think he just hit any button. I think I hit the A button. I'm not really sure. On my keyboard, it's the F button. But I think it acts like the A button. And you'll fly around for a little bit. And you'll notice some of the... You'll notice another town that we'll be going to in the future. And you'll also see a desert. I'm guessing this is four sides since I've never seen it before and uh I don't know, all the blocks seem to have like four sides. That's kinda what I noticed. It's like in a diamond shape. So I don't know, maybe that's a hint for it. But I don't know, because I'm playing pretty blindly right now. And here's the desert. I don't I don't know which desert it is, but it looks pretty vast and uh, deserted, but I guess that's how most deserts are. Then you finally land in uh, Threed. Only you like loop around the town a couple times so you can locate where Paula and Ness are. That's that little like beep with the antenna and the noise and the little lightning marks, yellow lightning marks on the antenna. That's what it's doing, it's tracking them down. I think I might be able to do two videos tonight, but I don't know. Well, I know this one is definitely going to go on YouTube tonight. And for, there's there's this one guy that's like rated like my past 10 videos like, you know, rated 5 for awesome. And whoever that is, I appreciate it. I appreciate the rating that you gave my, my uh, videos recently. Whoever you are, I thank you. And then it crashes down in the pit. And it probably is broken beyond repair. So it's just gonna lay there, I guess. And he'll ask if you can be, if he can, if Jeff can be your he friend. And of course, you agree. I mean, he came to rescue you. I mean, I would want to be his friend. Plus, you don't want to be mean. Heroes are never mean. Oh yeah, the door is locked. So what you have to do? It's fairly obvious because you used it when you uh, first controlled Jeff. Jeff. I said Jeff. That's a weird name you use the bad key machine on the door and the door opened now if you just climb up these stairs I think this leads to the way out actually and there you go you're free free as a bird okay that's all for this part so later